JC with the Jellyfish Art here. We are a division and sister company of Reef Aquaria Design, and we are the ones that grow these spectacular jellies for these beautiful giant jellyfish aquariums, custom built by Reef Aquaria Design. And also we provide small desktop aquariums that you can keep in your home so you can enjoy jellyfish just like these on your desk in the office, or in your living room, in your bedroom, anywhere you wanna put it. This tank back here is 96 by 24 by 42 high. Uh, it's just about 450 gallons, um, and it's all self-contained, all the filtrations underneath it. But yeah, we've had this up and running for just over probably three years now, and you can see how big and beautiful all the jellyfish are. You see these animals are super healthy, beautiful. Everything is sustainably aquacultured. Nothing is taken from the wild. Today I got something exciting to tell you. We're gonna give everyone a sneak peek, a tour of our jellyfish lab. So the jelly aquaculture facilities are here in our home base headquarters in sunny South Florida, Fort Lauderdale. We're gonna go check them out. We have a 24,000 square foot facility and the aquaculture labs are actually walk-in coolers to keep temperature control. Today it's 94 degrees outside. We're gonna go cool off with the jellies. Woo, now that feels nice. And this is where all the magic of jellyfish art happens, where all these beautiful animals are born and are raised to turn into beautiful medusas that thrive in home aquarias throughout the United States. Jellyfish aquaculture is a 365 day a year job. We are in here every single day. They have to be babied, they have to be taken care of, and we get the job done. The jellyfish has different life stages in its life cycle. A medusa, which is what we're familiar as the jellyfish, is the free swimming form and the final stage of the jellyfish. The medusa will spawn in our case in our facility and these eggs and sperm will mix and create a planula. The planula is a small moving little plankton-like creature where the jellyfish will form into a jellyfish. The planula eventually will settle and attach on a hard surface. In our cases, specialized containers where we keep the polyps. A polyp is basically like a small sea anemone. You've seen Finding Nemo, so you know what those are. These small polyps attach to the ocean floor and live there the whole entirety of their life. The polyp goes through a stage of strobulation. Strobulation is where the polyp produces a stack of ephyra. It almost looks like a stack of pancakes, flapjacks, or a stack of CDs. These ephyra are attached to the polyp and as they mature, each one pops off one by one and they slowly swim away into the water. The Ephyra is not a Medusa, although it swims a little bit like it. We're gonna check some of them out right here. This is where we keep our Ephyra. They're very small to see, so you'll have to get up in there. These Ephyra remain in this state for a couple of weeks and then eventually they start metamorphosizing into the Medusa that we know. Now from this little tiny Ephyra, we're gonna get a Medusa that's gonna be just a little bit bigger, but really tiny. Those are the baby jellyfish. Here we have the jellyfish nursery. These little guys are probably about three weeks old and they're just starting life, happily pulsing away, getting fed a delicious, nutritious diet of brine shrimp, baby brine shrimp that we hatch here in house. We have various cones where we hatch the brine shrimps and they go through stages of enrichment and grow up before they're finally fed out to the jellyfish. And that's what jellyfish love to snack on. As the jellyfish continue to develop, they start getting larger and larger. We go through processes of hand sorting every single jellyfish in this facility to separate the smaller ones from the bigger ones so that the larger animals don't take more of the food and the little guys are left hungry. The jellyfish in our facility are fed throughout the day multiple times, probably about eight times a day. So they grow much faster than they would in a small home aquarium, but our filtration system can withstand the amount of waste and nutrients going into these systems, into the water. So we're able to keep the water pristine by carefully monitoring the water and advanced filtration systems like this one. This is filtration for one of the systems and it includes a lot of different components to keep the water crystal clear using Chemipure Blue products to absorb phosphates and impurities and keep that water sparkling crystal clear. We use denitrators, we use algae scrubbers to absorb phosphates. Every filtration system in this lab uses Deltic equipment, which is known worldwide for being quality and extremely efficient. It is the backbone, it's the heart of these systems. 
Jellyfish, on average, are gonna live about a year to a year and a half in captivity. They live a lot less in the wild. In the wild, they're triggered by climate change, temperature, the different seasons, different currents. So it's amazing that an animal lives much, much longer in captivity where it's protected, it's fed, it has no diseases, pathogens, or parasites. And that's a very important thing with these jellyfish. Our lab is kept pretty much sterile of anything from the exterior. We've been raising this same strain of jellyfish for many, many, many years without any issues because of our very strict and cautious protocols. For more information on these beautiful jellyfish art desktop home aquariums, go check us out, jellyfishart.com. You'll have all the information you need there. You can always call customer support and they'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Jellyfish Aquariums sucks you in and you feel a feeling of peace, tranquility, relaxation. It's a mesmerizing, meditative experience. And if you want one, you can take one home with you. Thank you guys for watching.